Tana is out uh, as head coach of the Blues. He is still with the Blues, but he's no longer the head coach. Uh, there's this story out today. Um, it's being kind of reported in two different ways. One of the stories, one of the, the ways it's being written is that Tana has decided uh, to step down after some talks with the board. Decided to step down uh, to let Leon McDonald kind of get his hands on the reign as head coach. And that he's kind of um, happy to go into a more specialized role as defense coach. Uh, it's also being reported as like a more aggressive. Tana's been demoted. The board didn't want him as head coach. Uh, and that they're kind of actioning this Leon McDonald plan as head coach a year earlier than expected. So the roles as they've been confirmed. Tana moves to defense coach. I think it said it was on a two-year contract. So he's not leaving the Blues anytime soon. He's just sticking there as a specialist assistant coach as, you know, with... Um, a mind on defense. Uh, McDonald's the head coach who will also take control of uh, the attacking uh, coaching. Tom Coventry sticks to the original plan as Ford's coach and Daniel Halangahu uh, skills and backs coach. So that's the way that the Blues are going to be line up, lining up in terms of their coaching staff uh, for the 2019 season. Uh, it's an interesting one because Tana's appointment was one of those questionable ones about the Blues. Um, you know, he'd been coaching in the Mitre 10 Cup with reasonable success. This job probably came along a little bit too early for him. Um, his record, 11th in 2016. Eight wins, six losses and a draw. Uh, ninth in 2017, so a slight improvement with seven wins, seven losses and a draw. Obviously, um, teams around him getting different results that year because despite a one less win, um, they had... Uh, a higher position on the table and then lastly 2018 was almost the wooden spoon it was 14th with four wins and 12 losses uh yeah pretty poor season uh the one just gone so it was strange that they extended his contract uh for a year given the state of things i'd made a couple of videos previously about what was going to happen with the blues uh, Tana's contract kind of came up at an interesting time and that, you know, it finished this year. This was to be the last year of his contract. But if the Blues were going to go for some big name in terms of uh, a new appointment, a lot of them are on contracts until the World Cup if they were going to go somewhere kind of really established. So there was a, a difficult decision to be made as to whether they keep him or whether they get someone new. It looked like they kind of took a bit of a cop out and just decided to give him one more year. And then maybe assess their options. Um, but they have accelerated those plans. Uh, McDonald's been coaching in the in the Mitre 10 Cup fairly successfully. So, yeah, they, they've brought forward the plans, which seemed to be pretty obvious that they were going to uh, set McDonald up to take over after Tana finished his one year extra um, to bring it forward to this year coming. Um, so, yeah, the story which, which reports it in kind of a more positive light uh, says, after the end of season review, this is what Tana's saying, I signaled that my passion lies with my new responsibility as defense coach, and I believe that's where I can make the greatest contribution and difference to the Blues. I support the decision to appoint Leon and that the coaching team of Leon, Tom, uh, and myself is the best that we could have for the Blues for 2019 and beyond. So, uh, it sounds all well and good. That, cool, they had a chat about it, and... Um, yeah, he decided, yep, this sounds like a good move. We'll give Leon uh, a crack. But um, other sites are kind of reporting it as being uh, demoted in a radical coaching shakeup. And that um, he's probably seen the writing on the wall. And that there's no point uh, hanging around with Tana for another year. Uh, as a Blues guy, I've kind of been burnt too many times with coaching changes to be too optimistic. I admit that is a decent looking coaching lineup. I'm excited to have Tom Coventry there. Uh, I'm excited to see what Leon McDonald can do. But I was also excited to see what Tana could do, even though I thought it was probably a bit too soon for him. And I was excited to see what JK could do, even though his international coaching career had not been stellar. But he was an Auckland guy, so I was excited to see an Auckland guy back, which was probably a bit naive. Um, so yeah, the Blues have gone through a lot of coaching changes. And it hasn't really panned out in the last few years. So you forgive me if I'm still bit on the skeptical side of how things are going to go but hey 
Auckland did really well in the Mighty 10 Cup. They managed to win it. Not all those guys will be playing for Auckland in Super Rugby, but a lot of them are. So hopefully they got that winning feeling of beating some other New Zealand teams, which is one area the Blues struggle with. Uh, new coaching lineup, so hopefully McDonald can take the Blues in a slightly different direction. Um, I'm not going to lie, I've got a bit of hope, but it's, it's very, very cautious. So uh, I'm not kind of counting any chickens. But I mean, they were 14th last year, so unless they get pipped by the Sun Wolves or whoever else in 15th, it can't get a whole lot worse. What do you guys reckon? Is this a good move for the Blues? Um, as I said, the Tana thing, giving him an extra year, seemed a bit pointless. Because, I mean, in your third year, you've already had two years to kind of get your team in place that you want. Uh, and it still wasn't happening in that third year. If anything, the Blues had gone back a step. So, um, yeah. Time for a change, but change doesn't always mean it's going to be kind of a positive reaction. We will see. You guys let me know your thoughts on the change. Uh, Tana sticking around with the Blues. Do you think that's kind of good for his reputation? Do you think McDonald's going to have great success, success with the Blues going forward? Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.